A cantilever bridge is a bridge built using cantilevers, structures that project horizontally into space, supported on only one end. For small foot bridges, the cantilevers may be simple beams. However, large cantilever bridges designed to handle road or rail traffic use trusses built from structural steel, or box girders built from pre-stressed concrete. The steel truss cantilever bridge was a major engineering breakthrough when first put into practice, as it can span distances of over 1,500 feet, and can be more easily constructed at difficult crossings by virtue of using little or no false work. Origins Engineers in the 19th century understood that a bridge that was continuous across multiple supports would distribute the loads among them. This would result in lower stresses in the girder or truss and meant that longer spans could be built. Several 19th century engineers patented continuous bridges with hinge points mid span. The use of a hinge in the multi span system presented the advantages of a statically determinate system and of a bridge that could handle differential settlement of the foundations. Engineers could more easily calculate the forces and stresses with the hinge in the girder. Heinrich Gerber was one of the engineers to obtain a patent for a hinged girder and is recognized as the first to build one. The Hasfurt Bridge over the main river in Germany with a central span of 124 feet was completed in 1867 and is recognized as the first modern cantilever bridge. The High Bridge of Kentucky by C. Shayla Smith the Niagara Cantilever Bridge by Charles Conrad Schneider and the Porker Oopsy Bridge by John Francis Irk and Pomeroy P. Dickinson were all important early uses of the cantilever design. The Kentucky River Bridge spanned a gorge that was 275 feet deep and took full advantage of the fact that false work, or temporary support, is not needed for the main span of a cantilever bridge. The most famous early cantilever bridge is the Fourth Bridge. This bridge held the record for longest span in the world for 17 years, until it was surpassed by the Quebec Bridge. Benjamin Baker illustrated the structural principles of the suspended span cantilever in the photo on the left. The suspended span, where Keiki Watanabe sits, is seen in the center. The need to resist compression of the lower cord is seen in the use of wooden poles while the tension of the upper cord is shown by the outstretched arms. The action of the outer foundations as anchors for the cantilever is visible in the placement of the counterweights. Function Cantilever bridge a euro a structure at least one portion of which acts as an anchorage for sustaining another portion which extends beyond the supporting pier. A euro John Alexander Low Waddell, Bridge Engineering A simple cantilever span is formed by two cantilever arms extending from opposite sides of an obstacle to be crossed, meeting at the center. In a common variant, the suspended span, the cantilever arms do not meet in the center. Instead, they support a central truss bridge which rests on the ends of the cantilever arms. The suspended span may be built off-site and lifted into place, or constructed in place using special traveling supports. A common way to construct steel truss and pre-stressed concrete cantilever spans is to counterbalance each cantilever arm with another cantilever arm projecting the opposite direction, forming a balanced cantilever. When they attach to a solid foundation, the counterbalancing arms are called anchor arms. Thus, in a bridge built on two foundation piers, there are four cantilever arms, two which span the obstacle, and two anchor arms which extend away from the obstacle. Because of the need for more strength at the balanced cantilever's supports, the bridge superstructure often takes the form of towers above the foundation piers. The Commodore Barry Bridge is an example of this type of cantilever bridge. Steel truss cantilevers support loads by tension of the upper members and compression of the lower ones. Commonly, the structure distributes the tension via the anchor arms to the outermost supports, while the compression is carried to the foundations beneath the central towers. Many truss cantilever bridges use pin joints and are therefore statically determinate with no members carrying mixed loads. Pre-stressed concrete balanced cantilever bridges are often built using segmental construction. Construction methods Some steel arch bridges are built using pure cantilever spans from each side, with neither false work below nor temporary supporting towers and cables above. These are then joined with a pin, usually after forcing the union point to part, and when jacks are removed and the bridge decking is added the bridge becomes a truss arch bridge. 
Such unsupported construction is only possible where appropriate rock is available to support the tension in the upper cord of the span during construction, usually limiting this method to the spanning of narrow canyons. List by length. World's longest cantilever bridges, Quebec Bridge 1,800 feet, Fourth Bridge 2x 1,710 feet, Monato Bridge 1,673 feet, Commodore Barry Bridge 1,644 feet, Crescent City Connection 1,575 feet, Harrah Bridge 1,500 feet, Gramercy Bridge 1,460 feet, San Francisco Euro Oakland Bay Bridge 1,400 feet, Horace Wilkinson Bridge 1,235 feet, Tappan Zee Bridge 1,212 feet, Examples References External links Cantilever Bridge by Zander Bay, The Wolfram Demonstrations Project, 2007 Bridges a Euro Their Structure and Function, Branticon, Biggest of Finished Girders Go Travelling, Six Giants of 70 Tons Gave Engineers a Hard Nut to Crack, Popular Science Monthly, February 1919, page 79, scanned by Google Books, httpbooks.google.com slash books question mark ID equal 7 IG Dambaj ampersand PG equal PA 79.